Okay. Um, let us now continue with our topic with the um, other uh, logic and compare instruction in which we have the COM instruction, meaning complement. So the COM instruction complements the contents of a register, meaning invert lang nato ang ang input sa atong, um, i-invert lang na nato ang atong input. So, muna na ang atong output. So, it changes the zeros to ones and ones to zero. Also, um, it is called ones complement. And we have here an example. Um, we have 0xAA loaded to R20 and if we complement it, we'll have a value now uh, of R20 equal to 55H. So that is the complement. And for the other um, instruction, we have the compare instruction. Mean, um, we can write it by um, the letter CP. Um, we have the uh, destination register and the source register um, coming from this range, um, D ranging from 0 to 31 and the source ranging from 0 to 31. So, the compare instruction is a subtraction actually, except that the values of the operands do not change. So, mara siya subtraction, if ever nga ang atong ang result sa atong subtraction is um, uh, equal to 0, meaning z is equal to 1, then meaning we have same input. But if we have um, delete siya uh, equal to zero, this means that our values of this both operand, operands are not the same. So, Z is equal to zero, meaning ang atong output is not equal to zero. So, also with other logic operation, we can also have CPI, RDK, in which it is an instruction in which the right hand operand can be a constant value. So the AVR has some conditional branch instruction that can be used after the CP instruction to make based on the result of the CP instruction. So actually we already discussed this branch instruction. So for um, to recall them, um, we'll just show them again. So for the BREQ, meaning branch if equal, meaning um, our Z value, our Z flag is equal to 1. And BRNE if our Z is equal to 0, meaning ang atong output is not equal to 0. That is... Uh, Z is equal to 0. And we also have BRSH branch if same, same ang value or higher, meaning our carry is equal to 0. And BRLO branch if lower, meaning ang atong carry is equal to 1. BRLT branch if less than. Um, actually, this BRSH and BRLO are conditional branches that can be used for unsigned unsigned numbers and for the signed number we can use brlt and brge to compare the two operands if it is less than or greater than so if it is less than rs is equal to one and if it is greater than or equal uh, or equal then our s flag is equal to zero and we also have a conditional branch for overflow if uh, brvs meaning set setting s and c is clear meaning uh, v is equal to one mana tong timan an kining s nga kwan is v is equal to one brvs branch if v is equal to one or overflow flag is set and BRVC branch if overflow flag is clear, meaning V is equal to zero. Okay, nabalik na ako. So, again, um, to emphasize, again, we have BREQ and BRNE. As I have said, BREQ will branch if Z is equal to one. Then, else, um, continue. BREQ makes decision based on the Z, Z flag, also the BRNE. 
um, the difference is that the Z in BR and E must be equal to 0 in order for it to branch. And sa BREQ, Z is equal to 1 in order for it to branch. Again, if BREQ is used, if Z is equal to, equal to 1, instruction branches. Then the BRNE instruction branches when Z is equal to 0. BREQ and BRNE instruction can be used for both sign and unsigned numbers. So we have here an um, example using uh, those um, branch instructions. So the example is to write a program, a uh, program to monitor the port B continuously for the value of 63H. Then it should stop monitoring only if port B is equal to 63H. Pag nakita na niya nga 63H, it would stop. But otherwise, if wala pa na niya nakita, padayon siya og monitor. So the solution is. First, we need to set the DDRX of that register equal to 0 in order for it to be uh, input, ang atong pin B. So, um, the approach is um, we have 0x00, zero zero zero, meaning 0 is um, loaded to register 20, and this register 20 is put into the output of DDRB. So, we have DDRB equal to 0, meaning this is an input already. And um, we have initialized the value of register 21 to 63 because this 63 would be our value of comparison. So, mana tong gamiton, kining register 21 to compare if the input is equal to 63H or not. So, we have here the loop. To check or to man monitor the port B or the pin B if it is equal to 63H or not. So, um, we put the pin B as an input um, to register 20. So, whatever the value of pin B will be put in register 20. So, let's say we have um, 63H na sa um, register 20 and we all we already initialized the r21 equal to 0 63 right so comparing them together if it is equal meaning diba ang comparison na instruction is just like a uh, sub subtraction so ang atong r20 is equal to 63h ang atong r21 is already 63h also so, subtracting them together will have equal to 0, ang atong output. So, having this output will give the flag of 0 equal to 1. So, since we have z is equal to 1, meaning, unsa man siya, it should stop monitoring if port B is 63. So, mo continue na siya sa diri nga instruction. Delete na siya, mo balik og again. B, R, N, E, again. If ever nga ang atong value is not equal, meaning, ang uh, atong output um, not equal to 0, our Z, our Z here is equal to 0, then will branch out then monitor again so for example na na, na detect ni yang r20 is for example the reang value is not equal to 63 let's say 65 so 65 minus 63 ang atong output is 2 and this will have our Z na flag equal to 0. So, it will loop again sa atong function niya again. So, magbalik-balik siya until makuha niya ang 63 na H. So, that is the use for the CP instruction. And we also have other branch instruction like BRSH and BRLO. So, BRSH and BRLO instruction are 
used by the following. So, we have a BRSHK. If C is equal to 0, then branch else continue. So, if our carry is equal to 0, then mobalik siya. This condition is equal, uh, this condition shall be attained if ever our operands are the left hand operand is same or higher. So, again, uh, idita lang sa nato ang in terms sa sina flag. Um, again, it is, uh, it makes a decision based on the carry flag. If our carry is equal to to zero, the CPU will jump, meaning mo branch siya. But if not, then it will continue, else continue. Ang kalahiran po sa BRLO instruction, it branches when C is equal to 1. Meaning, less than siya. Uh, okay. BRLO. BRLO, branch if lower. So, if C is equal to 1. So, this BRSH and BRLO instruction can be only used in sign number. Dili siya pwede magamit sa sign number. So, we have here an example. Um, to monitor the uh, temperature of our pin B. So, Assume that port B is an input port connected to a temperature sensor. Write a program to read a temperature and test for the value of 75. According to test result, place the temperature value into register indicated by the following. If the temperature is equal to 75, then R16, the register 16 will get the temperature, register 17 will get zero value, register 18 will get the zero value. And if it is greater than 75, then R16 is equal to zero, R17 will get the temperature, and R18 will get zero. If it is less than, then register 16 will get zero, R17 will get zero, and R18 is equal to T. So how should we solve that? So, we have here the uh, solution for that um, code. So, first, we need to have, uh, we need to set the DDRB equal to zero in order for it to become an input. So, um, how should we do that? We can do that by having, um, Put or putting 0x00 or the value of 0 into some register and we use R20 to have that register. So this R20 now have a value of equal to 0 and this would be put in DDRB. So this is an input now. We have an input for port B. So initializing the register 16 and 17 and 18 for us to have those value of temperature depending on the value of what we read in the input B or the port B, pin B. So, here, um, we already declare nga ang pin B is an input, right? So, we can read now. So, pin B is having an input sa R20. So, nana ang value sa pin B sa R20. And then, we'll compare it to the value of the temperature sa nga 75. So, next instruction is, is it same or high? BRSH, if same or high. So, pag i-compare na to, first, um, let's say, ang atong uh, value is 75 also. We have R20 um, is equal to 75. So, meaning, 75 ang R20, our pin B is 75, meaning, it is same. So, since same yung value, it will go to this loop. So, now, nato na siya sa same high na value, same high. We have here an instruction, B, R, N, E, high. Branch if not equal to high. Branch not equal. 
not equal kung z is equal to 0, di ba? But, z is equal to 1, meaning equal siya. And this one is not equal. So, pag compare niya, 75 o 75, R20 is 75, then ang atong input is 75. 75 minus 75 is 0, meaning, Ang atong Z is equal to 1. Z is equal to 1. B, R, and E if high. So, if not, if it is equal, kung say mahitabo, um, equal to 0 man siya, no? Ay, equal to 1, kay same man. Then, it will go to the next instruction in which R20 will be put in R16. So, now, we have R16 equal to R20 in which it is equal to 75 degree. Given that it is equal. Ang atong, ang atong input sa pin B is equal to 75. How about if higher? Unsay mahitabo. Let's say we have um, 80 Sulat na to ang 80. Instead nga 75, this value would be 80. Okay. So, this R20 now, let's say, is equal to 80. Branch, um, if it is same or higher, it goes to same high. So, BRNE high. BRNE high. So, branch, if branch not equal to high. So, kung ang atong um, R20 is equal to 80, pag i-compare na to, 80 minus 75, we have 5. So, 5 meaning our Z now is equal to 0 because our output is not equal to 0. It, ha it is having a value of 5. So, Z is equal to 0. So, it will now, it is not equal to Z is equal to 1. So, it will now go to high na loop. So, sa high na loop, ang yung gibuhat is, i-move daw ang R20 to R17. So, in this case, R R17 is now equal to 80 degrees Celsius. So, what happens now if, that is the case for higher, di ba? Um, what happen if our temperature sa pin B, ang atong na-read, is equal to 70? 70 degrees Celsius. Let's say, ang atong R20 is equal to 70 degrees. So, BRSH, same high. So, dili man siya same, di po siya high. So, it will go to the next instruction. So, sa so next instruction, it says, move R18, R20. So, ang value sa R20 will be put to the register 18. So, our R18 now is equal to R20. So, that is the code for, um, for writing a program that to read the temperature and test it to the value and put the test result and put those temperature for the respective registered as mentioned here. So, next is the um, BRGE and BRLT instruction. Actually, they are the same with BRSH and BRLO, but it is used for signed numbers. So, BRSH and BRLO are used for unsigned numbers, but BRGE and BRLT are used for signed numbers. So, BRSH and BRLO, um, it will have a decision according to the carrying a flag. But for the BRGE and BRLT, they will have the decision according to the S flag. So, if the S flag 
the BRGE instruction branches in forward or backward direction relative to the program counter. And BRLT is like BRGE only it branches if S is equal to 1. So, we also have BRVS and BRVC instruction. So, it is an um, instruction um, that will monitor the overflow flag or the VNA flag. So, it detects the overflow and handles the error. So, BRVS and BRVC instruction let you check the value of the over overflow flag and, charge and change the flow of the program if overflow has occurred. So, BRVS instruction branches when V is equal to 1 and while well, BRVC branches when V is equal to 0. So, we have here an example um, to write a program to add sign number. The numbers are R21 and R22. So, the program should store the result in R21. If the result is not correct, the program should put 0xAA on port A and clear R21. So, uh, we have this example. Um, I-add daw na to ang R21 o R22. So, um, in this uh, example, we have a fixed value of R21 0x as 0xFA and R22 is equal to 0x05. So, we also have um, set R R23 as 0xFF meaning 1 para mahimong output ang atong DRA, DDRA. So, R23 will be put in DDRA. So, nahimo ng output ang atong port A because this will be used later on this case if ever ang atong result is not correct. So, if our result is not correct, mag-overflow siya, ba? So, if ever nga mag-overflow siya, then we'll have a value of 0xx um, put in port A and clear R21. So, we add the register R21 on R22. So, what should be the value of 0xFA? Uh, and, by calculator. Okay. So, what we have done here is um, add them together. If, if ever if V is equal to 0, meaning no error, it will go to next. But if ever nga nag overflow siya, since um, 0, uh, 0 x f a is 250 and 0 x 5 is 5, then add them together is 255. And then our um, sa register is kutub lang sa 127 for a 8-bit instruction. So, mag error ni siya. But branch of v BRVC is uh, BRVC if walay error. Go to next. But if na ay errors, in, in this case, na ay error error, 255 man, kung 108 bit lang ato instruction, then 0xx, uh, 0xAA rather, will be put in R23. And this R23 will be put in, will be put outside in port A. And we have clear R21. So, we have 0xx, 0x00 will be put in R21. Okay.